Yeah, okay. All right, so, uh, so we, today, let us catch up with uh, uh, order management. We'll start the order management. Let me just share my screen. So, uh, <clears throat> so far we had uh, touched upon the enterprise structure, our units, and then uh, you know the master data, customer material, stock, all that stuff. And then we also looked into the um, the transportation management master data, um, zones and uh, you know, locations, carrier profile as well. Then we talked about uh, uh, resources. We talked about uh, more, uh, handling as well as handling resources, calendars, vehicle resources, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now uh, let us first try to understand what is how do we connect both uh, SD and TM. So sales and distribution and transportation management connection need to be established. Okay, we have seen one connection where we have the, you know, the organization unit, the purchase organization unit, we connected it with uh, the company code and all that. We connected it with the uh, S4 organization unit. So we did that uh, of unit connection. Okay, now we need to uh, also connect the document level. At uh, document level, we need to establish some integration, some connection need to be integrated, right? So that becomes a fundamental uh, step for us to um, trigger the transportation management process. So today we are going to discuss uh, that integration point and also we will discuss uh, uh, something called freight unit building. So if you see the first part of it, uh, we are into the request management, that is uh, requirements. Um, requirements are nothing but your, uh, uh, you know, the freight, freight units will become your demands, uh, you know, the sales order uh, and all these things can be termed as requirements, right? Uh, coming from the uh, ERP side or S4 side. So forwarding order, OTR, DTR. Okay, forwarding order, as I said, it is like your sales order. So in a TM world, what do you call, uh, you know, like LSP is doing business, right? So LSP uh, needs to provide service to the shipper. So the document name, which he uses to process the orders from the shipper is called as forwarding order. Like how we typically call a sales order in our normal manufacturing uh, situation or ERP situation, right? So in uh, LSP situation, it is called as poverty order. So that is just for clarification. Now there is this OTR and DTR, uh, you know, uh, order transportation requir 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 requirements, delivery transportation requirements. These are nothing but uh, when you have the what do you call uh, the uh, ERP, that is earlier version, right? We are now talking about S4 HANA, but earlier version, uh, we used to have ECC, Enterprise Central Component, right? So uh, when that ECC was there, there is uh, also in parallel, uh, SAP used to have something called TM standalone system. So the TM standalone system, probably some version like 9, 9.5 or whatever. So that standalone system used to have uh, TM functionality. Now, if you have to connect between uh, ERP, that is ECC and uh, TM, then uh, you know there are certain things which are uh, there done in ERP side. And there are certain things which are done in the uh, TM side. Like, for example, a sales order is created in ECC side, ERP side. Now, the thing is, uh, if you have to process, uh, you know, freight unit or freight order, you cannot do it in uh, ER e e ERP. That functionality is not there. Then you have to go to TM. Now, if you have to go to TM, 
TM will say, look, I don't have any, uh, you know, uh, any source document to create, uh, you know, write order and all that stuff. So I want some information. Give me some information, then I'll be able to create a uh, freight unit, freight order, whatever it is. Then DM say, uh, ERP is saying that, okay, no problem. I'll send you this sales order and uh, you can just make a copy of it and uh, just keep it with you. Uh, don't process anything. It is just, uh, you can't edit anything. So just simply keep it there uh, and, uh, you know, put uh, store it in your tables or whatever it is. And based on that, you create a freight unit, freight order or whatever it is, right? So that is nothing but OTR. So if the integration is done at a order level, sales order level, then uh, OTR will be created, okay? If integration is done at delivery level, then DTR is created as a uh, source document for TM. Now, we are not getting into OTR, DTR, but uh, we will understand the concept of that integration uh, with our, directly with OR and delivery. That is what we are going to see today, okay? That is number one. Number two, now, if you have to create a, what do you call freight units, freight units are nothing but uh, in, a, in a very layman language, freight units are nothing but some product which should, which is ready to be transported. Okay, basically it will have uh, characteristics, the once a product gets a characteristics of uh, transportation that uh, typically is termed as your freight unit. But how will you build those freight units? I mean, you have to build them, right? Something has to, uh, you know, okay, the, pro the products are there in your sales order. Products are mentioned in the delivery, that's all right. So they are simply products, but but uh, you need to give them an attribute of transportability, okay? So that is given uh, by virtue of converting the uh, products into uh, small chunks of freight units. So that, that conversion of those freight units are typically happening at a sales order level or at a delivery level, okay? Once that happens, then, you entered into the TM world. So that means, okay, the other freight units are there, okay? That is, that they are nothing but your requirements, right? Then what you should do, the uh, requirements are demands. You can call it as demands. So they are all your demands. Now you need to plan those demands. So when you have to plan those demands, then you will enter into the next uh, stage. That is your transportation planning. Anyway, we'll come to that later on. But today we are looking at the requirements part. So let us try to understand a few things before we get into the system. Okay, so now if you see here, the transportation requests will be there. Okay, uh, like we discussed already, OTR, DTR, sales order, forwarding order, they're all termed as transportation request. So, so those requests, based on those requests, if rate units are created, and then the transportation orders are processed. That is your freight orders are processed. This is how it works. So when you say transportation request, you will say, you can say forwarding order, OTR, DTR, sales order, delivery, all of them will fall under that. You see here, sales order, purchase order, that is for inbound, right? Outbound delivery, forwarding quotation, all these things are basically transportation request. And then uh, freight units are can be created based on any of these basically, okay? Freight units are created and transportation orders are processed. So now uh, they can be done, uh, you know, uh, from a SAP TM uh, perspective or ECC HANA uh, point of view. Straight away in SAP TM you can create or you can create in uh, in uh, integration with ECC and S4 HANA and all that kind of stuff, okay? So any confusion in this slide? Okay, so far? Okay, I'll proceed. Okay. So, am I, uh, I, I, are you able to hear? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, fine, sorry. Sometimes I just talk to nobody uh, in the sense like uh, it gets disconnected 
and I keep going on and on. So that's the reason I'm just checking. Okay, thank you. So uh, let us now look at a couple of slides just to get a get our basics uh, pandas straight. <clears throat> so SAP DM uh, document is like you know forwarding order quotation all this thing which we just talked about, right? 